If it weren't for mushrooms or fungi, every tree that had ever grown would still be laying on the ground. We'd be skyscraper deep in dead trees. But the fungi in the forest actually decompose the wood and turn this into soil eventually. So after several years, these logs, which right now weigh between 25 to 40 pounds, they may weigh five to 10 pounds after just a few years. Not all of your pizza toppings can do that. At Lake Seminole Farm, we take a look at a specialized kind of agriculture for one of our few foods that is neither plant or animal. This is prance. Mushrooms aren't the only way a forest floor gets clean. And these are our fainting goats. And their normal job, as you can see, is to clear out the underbrush. It's just much safer than trying to mow it. I wanted to put the land to work and was deciding what type of agricultural um, efforts to, to do here and knowing that uh, it's the right environment, it's the right habitat for, for growing mushrooms. As we're talking, <laughs> he sees something I might not have thought was a mushroom. This is a jelly mushroom. It's a type of wood ear. These are often used in oriental recipes. Oh. Mushroom farming takes the idea of mushrooms growing on a log and carries it out on a large scale. Last year we did 2,000 logs, and the year before that we had about 1,800. And what's the spawn? What's in that? It's uh, sterilized sawdust that is inoculated with a specific uh, strain of shiitake mushroom. This seals the sawdust spawn so it stays moist. A lot of work goes into prepping the logs. This is actually the second stage. The first stage is cutting the trees and the logs. And then once we've got uh, the logs prepared, we're ready to drill the holes. And this is a fast and relatively dangerous <laughs> instrument to wash your eyes. In finding logs for mushroom production, they perform another kind of maintenance for the forest. We actually have to start with live trees. And so we either use oak, there's several types of oak that we're able to use. Uh, and this is kind of the ideal size, the four to six inch diameter. Uh, or we can also use the dreaded sweet gum. These are logs that would otherwise be burned or taken out of uh, planted pine areas. For people who are growing planted pines for telephone poles or for other lumber, the hardwoods actually get in the way. These trees are a nuisance in fire dependent pine upland forests. Because that's the main reason we burn around here, right, is to top kill those broadleaf plants, trying to keep that brush down and allowing all this biodiversity in the understory, all these different grasses and, and forbs and legumes and everything that, that provide the, the diversity and also that habitat for those, those animals that have become so rare in the landscape because most places we don't burn. The hunt leases and timber operations where they get their wood are certified organic, as are the mushrooms produced at the farm. And this is one of our current production laying yards. These logs were inoculated last year about this time, and they're in full production right now. Every week, in order to be able to ensure enough mushroom supplies for our customers, we actually force flush the logs, and we do that over here using these tanks and uh, ice. The, the ice water helps shock the logs to make them start producing mushrooms. In nature, mushrooms grow in the days after it stops raining. Here, they take the mushrooms inside to finish the process. In addition to shiitake mushrooms, Lake Seminole Farm grows oyster mushrooms. That's a slightly different process. These are pink oyster mushrooms and they're grown on pasteurized straw. Not hay, but straw. We uh, heat the straw in a, in, in a container of hot water and then inoculate it with uh, grain spawn. And then we uh, put them in here, set it under different conditions. And two to three weeks later, we have wonderful oyster mushrooms. It's partial hobby, partial commercial, as any new business. Uh, it takes a while to uh, become profitable. 
but uh, it's something we're proud of. It's something that we enjoy doing, and we think it has value in, in both uh, our community and for our families. To learn more about Lake Seminole Farm, visit lakeseminolefarm.com. For WFSU, I'm Rob Diaz, The Viegas.